Right, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're carrying on with the new launch of equipment and I think we've all seen the Ping new blueprint irons, the blue, Blueprint T and S. So a few weeks ago I went down to Ping, uh, the fitting factory in Gainsborough. So today my irons have arrived and I'm going to just talk you through my fitting, what I ended up uh, having and why I chose these and also at the start what I was wanting from my irons. Right, so we're going to hit some shots and I'm just going to talk you through um, what I ended up with and why. So, so first of all, we've got we've got we've got three models that I tried. Um, there was the that's just beautiful. So we've got the Blueprint T, the Blue, the Blueprint S, and the i two thirty. So. When I tried, I like the the the, the, the blueprint tees were great, but they they are the full blade, so we get a little bit more forgiveness with this blueprint S. The tees the full blade, so for me when I'm playing golf, playing tournaments, that's when I'd feel a little bit. I don't they, well, they become harder to hit, don't they? So with the blueprint S, we've got a little bit more forgiveness in it, which we're going to come on to when we're explaining a bit of the tech of it. Uh, and the i230 for me was just coming, I don't know, I just felt like it was coming off a bit fast, um, a bit less feel than this, uh, the Blueprint S for me. So we sort of decided on this one. Um, very similar to the ZX7 that I had previously. Um, but yeah, but I just like the forgiveness um, in this head towards that full blade um when you hit it you do, you do know that when you hit that full blade you've got to get it perfectly uh, out the middle uh, and these you know i've hit these quite well to be fair to start with but i get a few squeezing towards this heel uh, and it still shows it um still flies it straight and gives you a bit more of a peace of mind when you're hitting it especially when i'm like playing tournaments and you come up a bit under the pressure uh stuff like that so yeah, so that's so that's why I decided on the Blueprint S. So into like the fitting of it, I've gone from standard lie, standard length. And that was due to like an old bad shot shape um, of me pulling it left. Whereas when I were down there, I, I said that to him, but actually my bad shot now is probably just leaking off to the right. So blue code, which is up one degree upright and then plus half inch, which again, as we know, makes it um, the club more upright as well. You know, I'm tall. You know, I'm tall, so it fits me right. And when I went for a lesson, my um, coach Nick Wood, he says, "Why are you holding the clubs right at the top?" He says they look too small for you. So there's there's that as well. I, you know, I'm six foot one, maybe six foot two on a if I wear the right trainers. Um, so yeah, we just we just had an extra half inch on there just to feel it. So I'm not leaning over. Should be standing up tall to the ball anyway, uh, in my swing. So, big change from that. And I can feel it. I can feel them more upright again, which actually does feel good. Shaft, dynamic goal, 120 gram S300. So, I've gone from extra stiff to stiff. Um, and that's mainly because the, my, my data was put onto their web fit that Ping use. Great bit of kit. We're going to we'll bring up some um, figures from that. Um, and it was like a 99% match, S300. Um, the fitter, who was great, by the way, them two guys down there, um, he said, do you mind it in S300 rather than X100? I says, no. I says, when we were, he put it in my hands, when we were hitting it, fantastic, fantastic flight. And I've got the ability to hit it low when I want to, like I've mentioned on previous videos. It gives me the ability to do that. Um, so, and, and a great flight in there so i'm not really bothered if it says if it says stiff or extra stiff for me um also the weight gone up 15 gram to 120. um i'm going to put on screen now my dispersion with my old clubs um compared to my um new ones um, and as you can see that it's a lot tighter dispersion with these new pings um and like that's just flying great and they don't seem to be moving offline a lot and when i went there you know i'm not interested in getting it more distance I'll, that'll be through myself and swinging it and speed and strength 
I just want, again, that tighter dispersion uh, from my irons. Right, so we'll talk a little bit about the tech now. So, because these um, Blueprint S irons, uh, the Blueprint T, obviously, like we said, full blades, but these Blueprint S are almost like a combo sex in the three, four, and five iron. You've got this little pocket um, which saves weight to gain more MOI, which, as we know, is uh, is giving us more forgiveness. So in your three, four, and five iron, I've only got four and five iron in my set, but you gain more forgiveness out that, which is exactly, again, what I'd want from a set of irons. You'd want more forgiveness in them lower irons, a little bit more feel into your higher irons. So we're going to put we'll put a picture up on that so you can just see the difference between like the seven and the uh, the lower irons, the four and five in my set, that you can just see from that and you can feel it as well like that was a bit off the toe there and again it don't it's not flying to my yardage that i'm wanting but it's flying straighter so this gives this again like i've mentioned before in all my videos about my clubs i like the forgiveness there's still plenty of feel in it plenty of movement to shape the ball left or right even though i don't tend to do that as much um but this you know you can still think you can think of certain holes that you've played in the past from all courses um, and just think, would I be confident standing with this and hitting that? Say onto a long, this is my four iron, hitting that onto a long par three. Well, the answer would be yes. So these were, these were better for me than the tee. Just not quite striking it good enough for them tees at the moment. that's the one pulled it a bit just off center but still sort of flew okay you know if there's targets that sort of 250 we've maybe pulled it onto that 200 yard marker and um you know that'd be well within the dispersion so that's the like forgiveness of the club um that's the one that flies straight when i sort of try and get it swinging a bit more upright I just feel like they're not going to start leaking right either. So I feel like some of these may have le leaked right. It's a bit heavy, but it's flown straight. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful set of clubs. So yeah, so that's the that's the set. That's my fitting. Um, and I just, it's the first set of ping irons I've ever had, but as soon as they were released, I thought, I've got to try them. Because I think they look gorgeous in the bag, uh, which obviously is a bonus. Then I started trying our demo stuff, and I liked it. And then I thought, right, well, it's time for a fitting. Last fitting was probably a couple of years ago. I've I've been down with customers before to ping, and I've always thought it looks fantastic. So I thought, we have demo days up here, but on them days, I'm really busy rushing about. And I thought, no, let's go down to ping. Let's get the full experience of having that fit. Started from scratch. So we did that, these ones. These are going straight in the bag. Um, like I said, we've got the demo kit that anyone's welcome to try. If anyone wants to have a go, come in and let me know. Uh, also, we can sort out um, booking you in to ping to go down to Gainsborough. That is available to everyone. Uh, so, you know, see your ping or your closest ping stockist if you're not uh, local to us. If not, come see me. I can sort that out for you. Thank you for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed that video. Any questions, drop them below. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're uh, enjoying the content. Thank you.